Greetings, kings, queens, nice and nobles of all kind. My name is Blue Raven, and welcome to another episode of Raven's Adventures. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be exploring the world a lot. Actually, as the time of this recording, I have already recorded a lot of the clips. I'm just going to kind of run them through, and you can see as I'm exploring the world. And in the next episode, we're going to be doing some, some building. But the exploration was kind of crucial to some of the things that I wanted to do. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you enjoy the episode. Look at this, guys. I'm out here exploring. I'm pretty far away from home right now. I was trying to find some of the new cherry trees, but we have a mangrove swamp right there, as well as a jungle over there. Now, we do actually have a jungle pretty close to our house, but it's just like a little small one, and I'm looking for some bamboo. I'm hoping I get some bamboo from there so that I can make some new bamboo blocks. So we can play around with some of those. Let's go and see what we got over here first. I don't know if that's a desert right there. That would be nice because a desert would have some of the new features in it for us as well. Look, it goes all the way up there too. And that's actually what I saw up there. That's what led me over here. And so now there's all of this over here, which is really nice. And of course this biome is meant to kind of just stroll on in here, although it doesn't seem like we're going to get too far. Let's go ahead and grab that. Nice. Grab some of these proper fuels. Do we just get them with an axe? Or do we have to so touch them? Is it not a fully grown one? Oh, okay. This wasn't a fully grown one. Nice. I want to get enough. That we can grow more. The mud will be nice too for um mud bricks. So I'll have to collect some of those as well. This is actually the first time I've found this biome. I'm pretty sure anyway. I don't think I've ever found it naturally. At least not in this world anyway. Um, this is certainly exciting. There's a beehive over there. And they could spawn on these trees. Can I get to it? Yes, I can. Nice. Alright, I'm just going to click some mud here. And then we will head on over to the jungle and see if we can get some bamboo. I will meet you guys over there. Alright, we're over here in the jungle now. As you can see, I've collected a stack of mud and some more mangrove propagules. Get that out. So now we're going to see if we can get some, grab some of these. I don't know if we have these at home either, so that'll be nice. Um, I know there is some trees near home, so I'm not going to worry about getting any saplings while I'm here. But I just want to see if there's any bamboo at all. Because even if it's not a bamboo jungle, usually a small amount will spawn. Just like a stalk or two. I think I can buy bamboo from modern traders, but I haven't had any spawn, to be honest. So, I can't really trade unless I find some more. Of course, they only spawn near you. They don't have any other place of... I was wondering, which that would be cool if they added in like a uh, a camp for them to spawn at, but um, you know, it is what it is. So we're going over here and see if we can find some more. I do see a plains over there, so I'm going to go over there next probably, and just continue to try and look for the cherry wood so that we can get some of it as well because I want to mess around with some of that stuff. And there we go. Have some bamboo. See what I was saying? Sometimes they'll just spawn just like this. We can get it. And as long as we have one, then we are set for the rest of time. Because all we have to do is either... I think you can bone mill it. 
Um, but if not, I just let it grow. Eventually, we can make an automatic farm and even turn this into a fuel source. Now that we have that, we can access some of the new features from 1.20, mainly just the making the bamboo blocks, but this will be something nice to have. All right. I'm going to grab these melons too, because again, I cannot remember if we have any. So, as long as we have a couple of those, then we are set for seed. All right, well, I will catch you either uh, at base or at a cherry grove. I will see you then. All right, so I came across this ship. I know I said that I would either meet back at a grove or at base, but this might just be an exploration episode because uh, I keep finding stuff, which is what I wanted to do anyway. One... I didn't actually know that they could spawn with jungle wood, which is cool. But two, I forgot all about the armor trims. And this is the one with it. This is a buried fissure map, which we'll get to. But there are armor trims in here. So that's awesome. So I can't wait to use those. That's nice. All right. Let's go, let's see where this very treasure map is. Let's see, we need to go this way, I think. I wonder if it's that sand over there. No, we're going the wrong way. Okay. All right, so we need to go this way. And then go over here, I believe. It would show me, yep, okay. Over here. I don't have much room in my inventory. And I can't exactly make a boat with a chest because I'm still exploring on land. So that's fun. All right. So let's see. Where, where is this? Ah, here we go. Okay. So the best way to do this, this that I found, is kind of align yourself with the X. And then if you go into the center of it, sort of like that. Yeah. Then it should be somewhere within, within here. Okay, well, maybe, maybe not. Easy works on bedrock, but on bedrock on the map, uh, you're actually over it, over the X. So this one, you're actually, over it. So I'm not finding it all okay well this is lovely um okay okay i have found it let's see let me see, let me get up on top of here so i can kind of see what it looks like on the map while i'm on top okay yes that is not as you can see, I didn't have to dig too much, but I certainly digged a bit more than I certainly dug a bit more than I had to. I'm just gonna throw this stuff out. Sandstone. We'll get the sand in a minute. Alright, let's see. Okay, we got a diamond, which is nice. Got some gold, got some iron, a heart of the sea, potion of water breathing. Hmm. Okay, let's use these because we got these in the um, ship. Shipwreck. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Birds. 
All right. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and pile up here. And also probably just mark off that we've been here before. Just in case. And then we will throw that out as well. All right. Well, we shall see where adventure leads us next. Oh, yes, a jungle temple. This is going to be a wonderful day. We are just getting all kinds of loot as well as exploration. Now, of course, these have been in the game for quite a while, but I don't know if their loot has changed. Not that I can tell. Let's see. All right. Um, I don't think I did anything either. We did half. Okay, we're just gonna break this. Go in here. Just gold. Okay, well, still pretty nice. Find one. Oh, and there might actually be, I don't actually know. Is there suspicious gravel around here? Because there might be. Although it looks like to be all cobblestone. Yeah, I think suspicious gravel is just in ocean areas and not in here. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess let's continue on with our search for a cherry mangrove. Not cherry mangrove, a cherry. Have we been calling it a cherry grove? I don't even think that's what it is. Cherry. I don't know, just the places where the cherry trees grow. Okay. Well, not even maybe two minutes from when I left the jungle temple. That's literally right over there. You probably can't see it. I have found a desert, which in itself is nice because sand, camels, all different stuff, and a mesa. Nice. We are we are like 3,000 blocks away from home. So um, definitely not going to be able to come by here a lot. Um, and wow, there is a lot of these trees right here, which means underground there is a lush cave biome, but... I already have moss and stuff, so unless I want to get some of the blossoming flowers, then uh, can go there. Best cool is a little, like a little oasis here. But we have found a desert temple, which is good for loot as well as suspicious sand, so we can possibly get some sherds for our village to make some pots. Let's see what we got here. Just go here. Break this. And let's look at our loot. Emeralds. I do not want the pressure plate. Go ahead and get all of that. Some more gunpowder. Oh, another saddle. Hmm. Yeah, that might be nice. If we find any camels. Although, like I said, I'm going to being time soon that we come back here and some horse armor okay nothing really good honestly i was hoping if i could enchant a golden apple i don't know if armor trims can spawn down here but that would have been nice as well so let's go ahead and get back up here and there should be some sand. Yeah, like right in here. Yeah, there's some suspicious sand right there. Um, okay. I'm probably going to mark down the, the coordinates for this. Uh, so we can come back. Or at least so I can, um, you know, focus on that a bit more. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And uh, we can try and find a village, which is where the camels will spawn. 
Hey guys, there's another one right there. All right, so let's go check it out. This is another desert just past the mesa that we are going through right now. So hopefully there'll be some armor trims in here. And there's a village, nice. Good, I can mark down the coordinates and one day we can come back here for some camels. Cause like I said, we are like 3,000, 4,000 blocks away from home. There's no way I can bring a camel back. Um, at least not efficiently. I don't know if I want to deal with dragging two camels back with me. Although, we can work on some nether tunnels, which would drastically drop whoops, the amount of time we would have to go down. Honestly, I probably should have done it in the first place. I probably just went to the nether, went a random direction, and built another nether portal. But, this is fine. We can always come back here. That's the point in marking these down. Let's see what we got. I also didn't grab the TNT from the other one, but it's fine. I don't really have the room. I'm not worried about it. Ooh, sleeping edge two. Okay. Some gold horse armor. Hmm. I need a way to get out of here. Let's see. The arrows. Let's see. Okay. I think they're all in there. Ooh, okay. Two regular golden apples and one enchanted gold apple. That would be really nice for when we eventually kill the dragon. I'm going to put that up there. I don't really want to use it much. I shouldn't have brought these buckets. Really. I'm going to put that book away as well. And final chest. Let's go. Nice. So we got. More golden apples, more diamonds, which is really nice, and some armor trims. Um, hmm. Okay, we do have empty slots, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we'll have another empty slot once we get done with the sandstone. Let's go ahead and head over to the village and see if we can find some camels. All right, we are here at the village now, and we need to sleep. I can already see a cam right there, as well as a hello, as well as a desert well, which should have some suspicious sand as well. No pun intended. Um, so yeah, look at him. Let's go and put the saddle on him. Might as well come back here. Yeah. Nice. Got ourselves. Actually, now that I think about it, I could just ride this one home. I wouldn't be able to have two, but I would have him at least. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I was going to say, he should be able to sprint. Good. Okay. Well, he'll be here anyway. Let's go ahead and get these coordinates as well. And we can come back. I'm just going to see if the village has any loot real quick. And then if we can just find a cherry tree horse, then that would be lovely. We can finally get most of everything that I've been wanting. Because a big part of the update is the, the two wood types. Um, which of course with the bamboo uh, I've already gotten it and that's pretty easy to grow and make farms with and with the cherries I have to find so hopefully it won't take too long now this is certainly probably gonna be a longer episode depending on how many of these cuts I uh, I keep but yeah I'm just going along as I see stuff I'm just in the record button this is um being an enjoyable trip but like I said, it's definitely going to be probably a longer episode. So, that's fine. Found one, guys. Look at there. All the way up there. I want a llama, too. Not a llama, sorry. A camel. Well, they're, they're related, so I guess that's fair enough. But, 
I'm so excited. We can finally get some of the cherry wood and we can go home. And we'll have plenty of new blocks to play around with. Although most of them are going to fit in the village we're doing right now. Um, they definitely have uh, some uses later. Um, although I'm probably going to try and fit them in anyway. It's always nice to have a bit of a pop of color in your village. So definitely going to find some ways to add it in. But you know, it's just the village I'm going right now, the kind of the main theme has just been uh, spruce and oak and cobblestone mixed with various other stones. So we'll have to see how it goes. And so the wood itself may not, but the leaves are really nice because they give off this nice petal falling effect. Uh, let's see. I don't want you to go anywhere. So I'm going to put you hmm. in here. Come back here. You should fit in here, right? Yes. And you shouldn't be able to get out. I know you're pretty tall, but yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to get some of these flowers as well. Because again, as long as I have one, we can have multiple. All right, let's just go ahead and start breaking down some of these trees. And try to get some saplings. Ah, correct, I got that. Um, we want to get rid of, hmm. I wish you could put chests on llamas. That'd be so awesome. Hmm. Honestly, we we'll just get rid of the bread. Yeah. We have plenty of wheat at home. Uh hmm. The dripstone would be nice for like lava and stuff like that though. I don't I can't remember if we have melons or not. I also can't remember if we have potatoes. Um Hmm. There's nothing that I can do because I have my shield in my offhand. I still need the boat. Although I'm on the lava now, so if I have to get anywhere, I'm probably not going to need it. And I can always make more. Another one with the with the tree wood. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and collect up some of this and this time uh, we should see each other again back at base. So yeah. Ah, we are back home at last. It does feel really nice to be back. I was like probably 10,000 blocks out by the end of it, trying to just go through and find that cherry grove, which actually ended up being a lot closer. And I've um, screenshotted the coordinates for it as well. That's so we can go back. But yeah, we uh, we ended up with a good, a good bit of stuff. We have some armor trims, which we'll play around with a bit more. We have some lapis, some more diamonds. Um, and some golden apples, as well as enchanted golden apple, which I'm pretty sure you've seen as well. And definitely do not want to eat that. And we have a good bit of the wood, but mainly we have the saplings and the propagules, which will allow us to continue to recreate that. So yeah, I'm definitely glad to be home because that was very exhausting to record all that i was walking for so long that my hands were actually starting to cramp up so i really hope you enjoyed this episode it was certainly fun to make uh, but it certainly was exhausting at the same time um but yeah uh, if you do like it make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this thank you guys i'll see you in the next one goodbye